Good morning. We have your Friday morning announcements. Mock trial meeting after school in Coach G's room today. That's from 135. Robotics after school Thursday and Friday, yesterday and today in 103. Uh, don't forget to sign up seniors for CPR training. So you get that schedule. They'll be here to do that. And we can't do that. We have to have people come in, like I think it's uh, uh, EMTs come in and teach that. But it's a very short investment of time, about half an hour. And they'll be here next Thursday and Friday. But in order to get on that list, you have to sign up with Coach Hatcher in his office in the old gym uh, sometime before that. Don't forget to bring in your receipts. I know a lot of you will be shopping uh, this weekend and also eating at those restaurants that kind of surround the Del Mall. Save all those receipts and bring them in, and it will help out your student center. And seniors, so this is the day we wanted you to have all requests in for school reports and concert recommendations and so forth that are due by January 1. Because as I have been telling you, the concert's last day here is the same as your last day here next Friday, and they want to have all their work done in advance. Here's a new one. The Reflections Program is a national arts contest for students in all grades. Students create an original piece of art that reflects a common theme, and this year's theme is Let Your Imagination Fly, which could have been about anything, I would say. Categories include the following dance choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, and other visual arts. So if you think you'd like to participate in that and maybe submit an entry, we've had some big winners before, some national winners actually last year. I think one of them is going to be on the announcements here soon. Uh, so you see Mrs. Tinkham in 218 if you're interested in that reflections program. And adopt a family for the holidays with Haycap. Room 128 has about 20 ornaments left on the tree, so stop in and pick one out today and buy a gift for a family in need. And third hour teachers, that's too late for that announcement, so I'll skip that one. Birthdays today, Eleanor Bryan, Ian Lundy, and Julia Nari Martinez. Birthdays uh, tomorrow, Nick Geralts, Justin Smalley, Sarah Wilcox, and Talon Williams. Birthdays on Sunday, Ross Kennedy, and uh, Annalie Voorhees. And I think that's it for birthdays for today. Lots of stuff going on here uh, tonight. Uh, as you well know, girls basketball out of Linmar, bowling at Lancer Lanes against Dubuque Senior. And uh, those are the big ones, I guess, tonight. Tomorrow, wrestlers in action over at Marion. Freshman boys basketball here. Uh, actually, it's up at Dubuque Hempstead, I believe. And uh, girls varsity basketball is here, though. Sophomores at 1 and varsity at 2.30. Unusual afternoon game, so good chance to see our women's basketball team tomorrow against Moline. Some great choices for lunch today. Cheesy potato soup, walking taco, fish wedge, pretzel grabable, turkey sub, or cheesy garlic bread with marinara sauce. I'm going to hold up on uh, sports results to make sure we get everything else on. We'll go to Mr. Phillips next. Seniors, just a reminder that you have a week left to turn in your senior portrait if you don't want us using your last year's power school photo. So make sure you get that in, turn it into monumentstaff at gmail.com. Also a week left to turn in your senior quotes if you would like to do that. Those forms are in the IMC library or the activities office. Turn them into Mrs. Carter in the activities office. So keep those deadlines in mind next Friday. All right, Right for Rights is today after school in the Student Center. There will be lots of food and Christmas music and everyone's welcome. And other holiday festival music. Oh, yeah. I have a pretty good Kwanzaa playlist. Anyway, it'll probably be lasting around 5, but you can leave early, you can come late, whatever works for you. Every letter makes a difference. Yep. Genuinely, it does. <laughs> Uh, so a little change of plans. Mock trial is not meeting today after school, but we are meeting Tuesday as usual, so be there then. Also, Short Film <coughs> 1 is filming at WASH tomorrow at noon, so let me know if you can't make it, and come to the meeting today after school in Tinkham's room to talk about that. Thanks. There will be an art club meeting today after school in Ms. Schmelzer's room. We're going to do boutiques, which I don't even know what it is, so <laughs> but it'll, it'll be, be fun. fun. <laughs> And tomorrow, big event, Coco and Carol's here at 11 and 2, in addition to that girls basketball doubleheader that I mentioned. So it's going to be a great day to hang around Washington High School tomorrow. Men's swimming took a pair of wins from cross rival Jefferson last night. 
won the JV meet 109 to 38, and the varsity meet 86 to 84. Warriors were led by quadruple event winner Quinton Gay, as well as triple event winners Caleb Donalds, Matt Jackson, Jeremy Thronson, Tyler Cruz, and James Breibar. Our second performance is also turned in by Rory Boswick, Gabe Rico, Max Novetsky, and Mitchell House. And freshman girls basketball team got back on the winning side. I think they may now be 3-1 for the season. Yep, they are. And uh, beat Hempstead last night, 28-22. Sammy Squires led the team with 14 points. Issy Wilcox led the team with some huge rebounds down the stretch. And, uh, and Maya Powers also led the team with some big steals. They play next Tuesday at Linmar. And in men's basketball last night, by the way, the whole situation with uh, um, Pretty coming back to play at his old school, and uh, people kind of thought that might have some ugly moments, but you guys were great. The uh, fans were great, cheered a lot, didn't completely ignore the situation, but I thought handled it in a very good way. So thanks very much uh, for that. And it was a great game. They're really good. I mean, they're top five team, uh, and we played a very competitively, actually led part way through the second quarter, and our team is going to get better and better. So thank you for your attention to these announcements. I will see some of you at Limar tonight for uh, girls basketball.